start off saying uh, good evening all my fellow senior athletes, coaches, and administrators. Um, it's with great pleasure that I'm speaking to you all here tonight. Um, glad we can gather, celebrate all our accomplishments over these past four years. I hope everyone's enjoyed their time as a saint just as much as I have. I uh, first and foremost just want to thank uh, Dan Campagna and Athletic Director Barry for uh, giving me this opportunity to speak with you all tonight. Uh, I also want to thank just the athletic department as a whole, all the coaching staffs, um, everyone that helps out behind the scenes from athletic trainers to game day staff. Um, I really emphasize that none of this would be possible uh, without all your guidance and all your support. So, thank you. Um, for us student athletes, I wouldn't say we've had a traditional time here. Um, most of us lost one to two seasons due to COVID, um, but with our resilience, uh, Saints teams have won multiple conference championships ranging across all sports, from women's basketball, men's lacrosse, to women's track and field. Along with these accomplishments, multiple student athletes were named to their respective sports, all conference teams, all academic teams, and all tournament teams, highlighting their accomplishments on and off the field. So personally, I've always been an athlete, playing a variety of different sports, from hockey to soccer, basketball to football, recently being introduced to the sport of golf, and most notably volleyball. Sports and competition have been part of me and who I am. Uh, sports and competition have been a passion of mine since a young age, and will be for years to come. Because of this, I knew I wanted to continue playing the longest I could. Going into high school, I wanted to play basketball in college, and it was something I was very passionate about. I played for my school, AAU teams, and summer leagues, all trying to get better, especially in my post moves. Knowing I wanted to be a three-sport athlete in high school, I participated in cross country in the fall, basketball in the winter, and decided to drop, ball, uh, drop, basketball, uh, drop baseball to play volleyball in the spring. I came into volleyball not knowing a lick about the game, but wanting to learn. When cuts came, my coach told me I was the next to be cut, but he would take me and give me a chance. Hearing this made me want to work that much harder, not just learning the game, but mastering different skills of the game, and to prove that I could succeed at this sport. By the time my sophomore year came, I was a starter in varsity and was really beginning to fall in love with this game. After my sophomore year of high school, I realized that I wanted to keep, if I wanted to keep playing basketball, I would either have to change to a guard or grow half a foot to keep up with the bigs in the paint. <laughs> so realizing my potential in volleyball, I uh, and the love I gained for the sport, I decided to stop playing basketball and pick up club volleyball in the winter. When my junior season came around, my coach asked if I, wanted, if I was okay with being moved to playing setter. At the time, I was a middle, and if anyone knows volleyball, middles don't have the best hands. I remember going home, talking with my dad about my coach wanting, wanting me to make the transition to only setting the ball, <clears throat> and telling him that I enjoyed being able to get big kills but also, I knew I wanted to switch positions for the team. The setter is like the quarterback on the floor, but without all the recognition. So realizing my coach had the faith in me to lead the team, I knew it would be the best thing for me and my team going forward and never looked back. I ultimately finished my high school career in New Hampshire State Champion, New Hampshire Player of the Year, first team all selection, and I was honored to be recruited and committed here to Emmanuel. Coming to Emmanuel, I, I knew I wanted a great education while being able, to, being able to grow and excel in my sport. Meeting Coach Barry and my teammates before coming to campus, I knew this would be the place to allow me to do that. Just as I did in high school, I worked harder to push myself and my teammates to get better. Losing half of my first season, as well as being told I wasn't going to have a sophomore season hurt, but my teammates and I still showed up every day to practice and get better, even knowing we won't have any games. My mindset changed after realizing this. I realized I only had two more seasons left of volleyball, and I looked forward to trying to make them a great two seasons. Coming back from COVID was an adjustment, I'd say, not just for myself, but everyone in the room, especially as student athletes. Being away from our prospective sport for almost a year was something we all had a battle with, both mentally and physically. Being without competition in the sport for almost a year really felt like a part of me was missing. Just like I faced adversity in sports in the past, this was a whole new type of adversity, as it was the adversity of not having a sport, that competition, or that team camaraderie that, that was there. With this downtime, I decided. <clears throat> with this downtime, I decided to take my time and really focus on mapping out my future. I looked at different routes to take in the accounting field and started looking for my internships with a few of the big four accounting firms. <clears throat> After applying, uh, it came my junior year. I was also <clears throat> I was able to join the golf team and name men's volleyball captain. 
As I followed on, I began to interview. I began the interview process at two of the four big, big four accounting firms for an internship in the summer of 2022. In my interview, they specifically asked how being a college athlete helped refine or build skills that might be used in the workplace. I went on to explain about all the skills I've learned and continued expanding on things such as leadership, time management, teamwork, and ways to overcome adversity. I noticed the interviewers really enjoying hearing about all these skills and how they translate to the workplace. All these skills I gained just from being an athlete, and I'm sure many people in this room could say the same. Being an athlete in college really shows the empl employers the passion, passion you have and how hard you really work for it. As a student athlete, it isn't always the easiest, but it's very rewarding from all the relationships, applicable skills, and fun you get to have. A few weeks post interviews, I was expect accepted at both firms, decided to choose Ernst & Young to intern with. I completed my internship in uh, August of 2022 and received a full-time offer to return this fall. A big fear of mine was coming into college not having a job after school, so having the security made my senior year a lot more enjoyable. I came into senior year hearing about a new club that wanted to be started out of manual, so I helped initiate the club The Hidden Opponent. This club helps advocate for mental health of student athletes, which is very important in the post pandemic environment. The club has introduced me to members of various athletic teams I haven't interacted with before, and it also helped me build relationships between these athletic teams. And finally, to wrap up my senior year, I, I led a team of mostly freshmen and sophomores to multiple wins, program accomplishments, and many of us receiving individual conference recognitions. In closing, I want to say that everyone in this room should be proud of their accomplishments and contributions to their respective programs here at Emmanuel and their time here as a saint. Nothing can ever take that away from us. Best of luck in all you do, and in all you do, do your best.